In case you've been living on a different planet, Blender Market is having a huge sale at the moment. Let's take a look at things I can't afford to buy. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now, I need to apologise for the thumbnails of late. But it's going to stay, I love it. <laughs> I'm just going to put a random stock image of some person on the front of every thumbnail from now on in. <laughs> just to take a piss mainly. Now, there is a couple of reasons for this. I think the YouTube algorithm actually reads the image and it sees a human on it so it kind of boosts your video. Or maybe it's one of these just people like to click on it. Now, I did get a complaint from a user. Obviously, the other day I put a female and I think they were expecting this kind of hot chick to be presenting and then they ended up with me. <laughs> so I really do apologise. Now, I would like to just quickly say thank you to Daniel from Zen Images for the massive donation you made. Way over the top, mate. Way over the top. But I'm actually going to reinvest that back into Blender add-ons, hence the video today. Now, you actually notice a lot of YouTubers pimping add-ons and pimping the Blender Market website at the moment. And the reason is, they can make good money from it. Now, there is affiliation links in the description down below, but what I recommend you do is, you just go to blendermarket.com and you just buy direct from there. Because obviously, the time you calculate in, the 25% plus the affiliation kick, the uh, developer's not making as much. Okay, they might get more sales, stuff like that, but anyway, completely up to you. So I'm just going to kind of browse the Blender Market website. I'm not really scripted this, to be honest, but I'll don't really script any videos, can you tell? <laughs> so I'm just going to browse about and I'm going to recommend stuff that you might buy. I'm going to kind of mm, cherry pick stuff. And I might tell you, nah, it might not be worth buying it. You might be able to find it free somewhere else. Now, on the front page, you have K-Cycles. Now, personally, I don't know enough about K-Cycles, to be honest. I have Octane, I have Cycles, I have Eevee, obviously. And you now have Cycles X. Now, does this improve your workflow, make your renders any better? Potentially, is that your area of expertise? Do you render a lot? Potentially, so this one's up to you to be honest. Now, Auto Rig Pro probably would recommend, especially if you're doing a lot of rigging, it just saves you a lot of time. And it's 30 bucks, it's pretty damn cheap. Well, I think it starts off at 14. Now, you might see different variables in terms of price on the Blender market, like $10 here and then 75 that's for more than one license or maybe it's a studio license or something so generally go with the lowest value now what i do recommend is i don't think there's anybody who's not bought this to be honest but i need to give a big shout out to the developer of hard ops and box cutter oh, every week is a new update they work extremely hard on this so if you've got 28 bucks and you do a lot of modeling box cutter is probably it now cable rater i don't know 10 bucks is quite good to be honest and if you're dealing with a lot of cables, I think you could consider it as the ultimate cable add-on. Now, there is a couple of free alternatives, and I'm not trying to persuade you away from buying this, but if you buy things like Fluent, and even Hard Ops to a certain degree, I think Rantools is another one, they all kind of have basic cable implementation, so depends on where you're looking, but yeah, 10 bucks, pretty good. RBD Lab, now... I've kind of looked at this, it looks alright, it kind of fractures and then does a secondary fracture, stuff like this. 17 bucks if you're doing a lot of dynamics, might be worth looking at it. Blender dynamics are a little bit weak sometimes. Now this is one that I definitely will pick up and it's Fluent Materializer, it looks pretty good and this is from CG Thoughts. $26, gives you a lot of materials and that's what I'm kind of going to focus on, buying just materials and things to make your workflow just a little bit quicker. Now I won't cover assets per se because it's kind of independent of what you actually need. Do you need a tree? Do you need a seat? Whatever. But when it comes to like grass libraries and stuff like this, if you've got the money and it's reduced at the moment, definitely worth buying. Uh, same with things like flip fluids, reduced in price. Now you can get flip fluids free if you download it and then compile it and stuff like this, but you don't really support the developer in that regard. Uh, a live animation course in Blender. Now I've heard really, really good things about this. Uh, 60 bucks to learn how to animate. Now, I'm obviously not going to go through every single product. We could be here until next week. But there's a few kind of new products. Quick Studio looks not bad, 20 bucks. It's not on sale, but meh. Now, there is other tools that can implement this feature as well, so you need to be careful. Cinematic HDRI lighting, meh, 12 bucks. 
Razor Clutch has been doing a lot of stuff. He has reached out to me a few times, and there's a few times I went, nah, I'm not going to review it, mate. I think it might be too expensive or whatever. Decal on a shell, that's from math. Uh, so you know it's going to be good, to be honest. 11 bucks. Now, you do have the decal machine as well, which might be worth considering. In fact, if I just go to most sales, it'll probably give you a good indication what you want to buy. So hard ops and auto rig are pretty much two things. Uh, mesh machine, 30 bucks. Retopology, if you do a lot of retopology. Now, one thing I might recommend is not to kind of talk about a CG cookie. You can download this one free off our GitHub, but you've got things like mesh labs and stuff like this. You've got other tools that kind of do a really nice retopology. Now, this actually is more of a workflow tool, so you can actually individually make polygons, stuff like this. So, uh, if you do retopology, maybe. But 64 bucks if you've got the money and you've got the money. Now, Flip Fluids is down to 57 bucks. You're not going to get a better fluid simulation for Blender than Flip Fluids. 57 bucks, not bad. Uh, decal machine, I mentioned that earlier on. I do own that. I don't use it a lot, but when you do, it's pretty good. Now, Extreme PBR, I think this is a good deal. I think that might be worth it. And I do have the Fluent Stress Modeling tool as well. And there is some very nice tools in there. Uh, mesh machine tools, eCycles render engine. See, I'm not experienced enough in these render engines to give you a valid opinion or to say go and buy it, go and buy it. Well, a little bit expensive, I think. Uh, you can pick up an Octane license for that price, so you need to be careful. Uh, box cutter, there's no point in buying it single. I think you're better getting hard ops and box cutter together. Scatter 4.0. Now, that's probably one of these things you might want to pick up if you're doing a lot of scattering, and it does seem to be getting. A lot of development in the time. Simple Cloth Pro. I don't know. I don't know. I don't do enough. Kit Ops is not too bad. Physical Starlight and Atmosphere. Meh. But dear for me, to be honest. Now you've got Pro Lighting Skies from Blender. Again, I think that's a little bit. I don't know if you definitely need it. Human Generator. Could, maybe. It really depends on what you do as an animator or whatever. But if you're just a hobbyist, these are things I would maybe try and avoid. I would try and get assets that improve your workflow, like B Painter. 30 bucks, very good. By Gen, you can download that from free on Curtis's Gumroad, I believe. Planet Generator and Greebles. Now, I'm a sucker for things like this. I don't know why, but something like that's good. But you now have Geometry nodes, so you need to be careful as well. You're buying a lot of add ons when you can maybe do this natively now. And that's one thing I'd like to stress. There's a few add ons here that I think are worth the money, but I can make them myself. And I can implement them in the way that I think they should work. So there is a few things that I, I can avoid. So I'm looking at add-ons that I know I can't make. Uh, speed repo. Anything to do with UVs is probably one of the things you want to pick up. Uh, curve to mesh. Yeah, you can kind of get that for free. Looks not too bad, but let's go to the next page. UV Packmaster. Probably one that you would want to pick up. Speed flow. A pretty good tool, to be honest. It's kind of like a mix between fluent, hard ops, and everything else. It's kind of in between. And it's non-destructive, so mm, pivot transform. Now I've made my own tool, but that might be worth checking out as well. Mass tools, meh, maybe. I mean, there is a lot to go through here, to be honest. And if you're fortunate enough to have money to be able to go and buy stuff, now's probably a good time. Now, Layer Painter, I was talking to Joshua about this, and it looks pretty good, to be honest, as well. Maybe recommend that. Fluent Materializer, probably. Uh, what else have we got here? Pie menu editor. Now it's not on sale, it's 16 bucks, and I probably would recommend that, especially if you're into your pie menus and making your own menus. Now, definitely, definitely pick Serpens up. It's 11 bucks, and you can make your own add ons, and all you need to be able to do is understand node workflows. And the guys on the Discord are absolutely fantastic. Bargain at 11 bucks, honestly. There is an affiliation link down below, but for 11 bucks, go and buy it. Uh, car rigging pro, I don't do enough car rigging to be honest to justify something like that. Real skies, man, yeah, don't think so. Power save, now you can download this free as well, but 75 pence or 75 cents, doddle, buy it. Again, you could be here all day. Now, there is one thing that I would maybe pick up, and it's gizmos. Let me just check it out. Lily gizmos, that's it. I like gizmos, looks pretty good. Giz you've also got gizmo pro here as well. Now, honestly, if you're fortunate enough to have the money to go out spending, keep in mind, Blender Market, I think they run this four times a year. They have a sale every quarter. So if you don't have the money, you can maybe catch it the next time or save your money up and then catch it, know what I mean? So don't worry if you're, you're skint at the moment. And that's pretty much a quick look at Blender Market. Sculpt Wheel and Paint Wheel, I did recommend that. It's pretty good, to be honest. But dear, he's kind of putting the prices up a little bit, but hey. 
that's what I developer does. Anyway, do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.